Hello from Project Oaken, where the blockchain meets the Internet of Things. Thank you for your time and consideration for our entry into the Camp Ether Hackathon. Our entry, Project Oaken, is a secure, autonomous, machine-to-machine -machine IoT platform built to provide the underlying infrastructure needed to power smart cities. This includes both a software and hardware solution that integrates into existing systems and processes. Our overall project vision is to be the IoT hardware and distributed software platform that powers smart cities with automated machine-to-machine -machine controls and true value transfer. Let's see what's at the core of our offering, hardware. Our hardware profile starts with a Linux-based SoC or system on a chip. Within that SoC, we install an Ethereum node, an IPFS node, in Node.js with some supporting Node.js modules. In our proof of concepts, we have used the BeagleBone Black prototyping board, but because we have utilized the Ethereum client in light client mode, this can be swapped for smaller Linux-based SoCs like the Intel Edison, Intel Jewel, or Samsung Arctic chips. On that Linux instance, we connect to the Ethereum blockchain via an Ethereum node in light client mode. We connect to IPFS distributed file storage via an IPFS node, and we connect the hardware via GPIO with Node.js. The Node.js software interacts with the hardware GPIO, the local Ethereum node, and the local IPFS node. All combined, this allows for hardware orchestration and automation using the IPFS distributed file system in the Ethereum blockchain. The Oaken platform. The platform grows what we like to call acorns for each physical application. Our simple platform design uses Node.js to interact with the GPIO of the machine where hardware can be monitored and controlled. In this outbound transactions example, let's assume a thermometer reaches a certain temperature and this triggers an action to be taken. From this trigger, any valuable or functional hardware state data is read and recorded in IPFS, generating an IPFS file hash. This IPFS hash is then stored in a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain using our base level store and signal pattern. From the smart contract, we use the event signal feature to signal other hardware or smart contracts to take action themselves. For inbound transactions, the platform will monitor contract signals. If necessary for the application, we will read data from the stored IPFS file hash and then take action on hardware outputs. In this example, a light bulb blinks when the temperature on another device reaches a threshold. Utilizing the Oaken platform, we produce acorns. Acorns are IoT machines with autonomous communication over redundant node systems. Acorns each have a special purpose but can be easily replicated for multiple machine applications and can scale. Let's look at an acorns application and why this is valuable. In this example, we will outfit a water meter pump with a special purpose water meter acorn and emulate a city water provider with another. But first, to understand why this is valuable, let's look at a historic model for distributing water to recipients. On the left side of the slide, the water recipient uses water that is tracked by a meter. The water provider employee will drive to the water meter to read the recipient's usage. Usage is invoiced and payment is mailed via truck back to the water provider. Now let's look at a current model. A connected water meter sends meter usage data to cloud server infrastructure. Those servers send that usage data to the water provider. The water recipient's usage is tallied and they are invoiced electronically. The water recipient pays for water usage by credit card using more cloud server infrastructure. The water recipient's payment is taxed at an average of 3% for using the credit card payment processing system, reducing the amount of value transferred between the water recipient and the water provider. Now let's look at the Oaken model using our acorns. The water recipient's usage is recorded in the distributed file system and that location is stored in a smart contract. The water provider monitors this usage. The usage of a certain amount triggers a payment from the water recipient's water meter's acorn on the water meter itself. The water meter uses a smart contract to authenticate itself and move value from a multi-signature contract wallet to the water provider. The water provider receives 99.99% of value after blockchain usage fees and now the water provider needs significantly less cloud server infrastructure. Let's see what that looks like in action. 
Here we have our water meter proof of concept. Starting our Node.js water meter program, we check the current value of a smart contract to see that the recipient may receive water and water begins to flow. For this demo, we've allowed for one liter to be dispensed by the water meter acorn. Once the liter is measured and dispensed, the Node.js program shuts off the pump. After a certain amount of usage, the water meter updates a contract to record usage. In this demo, we've allowed for only one liter to be dispensed, then we update a water provider contract by posting the state data to IPFS, then updating that smart contract with that IPFS file location. The same proof of concept can also be quickly modified into new acorns that would provide similar utility to oil and gas distribution controls, insulin management, and beer and wine vending. Pictured here is a working hardware proof of concept for remote exterior and industrial applications. This example is solar powered, connected over cellular communications, and encased in a NEMA rated enclosure to protect against weather. Pictured here is a working hardware proof of concept for portable connected applications. This example is low power, low cost, and versatile for interior applications. Stay tuned to Project Oaken for other acorns that demonstrate other industrial and personal applications. Our team is made up of John Garretts, James Johnson, Hudson Jameson, and Lainey Fisher. Thank you for your time and your vote from all of us at Project Oaken. It's never overflowed.